literally always happens. Always. <laughs> Ooh, the Mega Man song coming out. I don't go to Small Battlefield. I love Small Battlefield. It's my favorite stage. I'm not going to lie. I love my PS2 Pro. <laughs> I think with Small Battlefield, it's pretty good for Paul because, like, a lot of his moves take up almost the entire stage. The side V is huge. It covers, like, half the stage here. Oh, we got already got a little bit of a crowd going on. Oh, yeah. CFL's tuning in. I mean, everyone's sitting down watching. This is going to be hype. And you know when Crunch shows up, it's about to be loud as hell. Oh, yeah. Paul's got just a booming voice that will carry across the room. Crunch has that aura. But uh, right now, I mean... A little bit of a back to start. They're just scrapping right now. Mia's fighting his way in, getting tons of percent here. Paul just kind of looking like he, he, he's trying to run away a little bit just so we can get stocked up. Yeah, I think the tricky part is that, like, Paul has the disjoints and has the range advantage, but Mia's buttons are much faster. Like, once Mia gets in, Paul has, it's so hard to it's really hard get something. To get out yeah. And, and get something out on his so. own. Definitely. I mean, his best out of shield option is probably like Uppy, but even, oh man. Oh, looking like that MP is running close. Oh man, Mia's he looks going. like he's trying to get the zoom, but unfortunately, SD just because of the like, too much pressure coming from Mia. And that's the situation here. Like, when you're off stage, uh, Hero's recovery is a little bit like overrated because of zoom, but if you don't get that zoom, you're yeah. just dead. And he has oh, to wow. because. Wow. Wow. Very quick. Wow, Mia, what a change of events from the Limitational. Looking yeah, much more it looks comfortable. Like he, it looks like he studied. Oh, he did his homework. I can tell. Yeah. Wow. Oh, good up to coming from Paul. Yeah, I love the whiff punish there from Paul. I mean, that was beautiful. Off the up to, I mean, off the spot dodge. That was amazing. Oh, good catching with that up too. So, the thing with the matchup is that, like, Game Watch has huge hitboxes, and he's all, like, he, he's not just, like, uh, faster frame data, but he also has big hitboxes. So Paul has to like preemptively throw out options, but I mean, off stage, Mia just fully dominant. Yeah. Paul limited off stage, unfortunately, so. Yeah. I mean, Mia ran away with game one. And that last stock, too. It looked like Paul had just used his air dodge a bit too early, and then when he actually needed it, he was like, oh, I don't have that. I don't have it either. I don't yeah. have a jump either. Unfortunate. So. Yeah, you, you have know. you have to really it's conserve just, those you resources. Got, you just gotta hold away, reset, take a second, and be like, okay, what is going on? And then you know. Yeah. You know, it's a new game, so. No, nah, fresh start. We could, I we mean, can see Paul turn off here, but yeah. interesting choice to go to Kalos, though. Um. I'm not really sure. I'm assuming just because like the bigger stage, you know, kind of like want to keep Mia a little bit more away or give him some more space to work around and play around with, so. Also gives Paul a little bit more landing options with the like off-stage platforms, but ooh, spot dodge once again with the punish gets bounce here, so Mia has to be careful. Yeah, can't shoot out any bacon or anything. Nope, no bacon. I think even the forward air uh, gets reflected. Oh yeah, That's right. Accelerate on the board. I mean, beast mode. Paul is in god mode right now. He's just stacking up all the little skills on, on Hero, so he can just quickly take that first stock. But he already is doing better this game. Definitely. To... Oh. Gets the psych up. I mean, anything just kills you. Even a grab. A yeah. grab up throw will kill as well, so. Yeah, he's just looking for it. Yeah, Mia's just playing very safe. He's waiting out the options here. Mia has to find the opening, but it's so tricky. Paul's not giving him an inch right now. And Paul again just it's also god hard. mode. Oh, wow. Taking that first stop. And just like we mentioned though, like Paul reads so fast. Yes. I didn't even see the option until he literally threw it out. Yeah. It's insane. Like I didn't see it until Mia exploded. And I yeah. was like, oh, he exploded. Yeah, I was like, that's how we explode. I'm like, oh, sizzle. Cool. <laughs> oh, zoom oh. getting away. A little bit of better fortune this game. A little low on mana, low, though. So he's going to have to go on the unfortunately getting up smash. Yeah, I think a little bit of a mistiming on the Nair, and Mia takes his full advantage here. <laughs> Paul is running away. He's trying to keep away from Mia's threat range right now. Mia looking for her way in. Gets the dash attack. Oh, good. Uh, grab range. 
Yeah, it's like Jesus is beautiful there from Mia. Bang coming out, but Mia just shielding. I think honestly your best bet is when he opens the menu, just shield. <laughs> I know it's like a meme, but hey, it might just be the best option. Or maybe, like, just maybe run up grab. Mayhaps? Run up grab is scary option. <laughs> that is like risk to the max, but I respect the hustle. Can't even up here because it gets reflected too. That's another part. It's crazy because like we don't think of like Game & Watch as like a, a true zoner or projectile character, but when he has balance, it kind of negates a lot of his moves. Okay, heal, I guess. Zoom. The psych up. This is looking huge for get, Paul. Looking to get that second stock. Any good move is going to kill because of that psych up right now. Yeah, just looking for like that forward air, some type of option here. Oh, good zoom to come back to the stage. Unfortunately, still getting some good up air. Ooh. Oh, the the yeah, Mia has done an excellent job of catching Paul's landings every time. Like, aside from the zooms, he's caught Paul's landing like three times already. This is incredible. But, like you said earlier, this mode does have his god mode on right now, so. Yeah, I mean, he is. Just being able to do whatever he wants, but Ooh, Mia not scared. Air dodge. Mia kind of saving with the air, but Ooh. the drift away there was super clutch for Paul, but yeah. Mia's still in the driver's seat. Oh, man, still not doing it. Hopefully, we don't see him start to get like antsy trying to take this stop. Mia gets to Nair. No follow up just yet, though. Back in disadvantage, but 125% and still kicking. Oh, and the wow. up throw, like you said, was able to kill. It's crazy how strong it is. Even on Kalos, it still killed, which is like one of the highest ceilings there, in the yeah, game. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a really high ceiling for it to have killed. But, oh, yeah. You know, he did have that psych up on, so. Yeah, I mean, psych up is huge. It's crazy how much better the character is with buffs. Or like, you know, not buffs, but the, the moves. The little, the little power ups. <laughs> yeah, they're like buffs in the, in the actual Dragon Quest game, but here it's just like... Uh, I don't know, power-ups, I guess. Yeah. A down smash? He's trying to catch a roll, I believe, but Paul is not giving it to him. Yeah. They're both just kind of looking for an opening right now. That was sick. He did a uh, drop-down cancel back air, and then, like, baited Paul to drop shield and caught him with the up air. That was really perfectly played in time by Mia there. Oh, this is so scary for... I mean, it seems scary, but like he has psycho now. He has stage control oh, he's and got like, God mode on now. yeah. And Mia is very, very high percent. We got the Merry Christmas chance coming out from the crowd. Oh! oh my Unfortunately, Uptil not getting it, but getting F tilted instead. I mean, Mia perfectly timing the air dodge. Some things just cannot be taught. That was beautifully oh played. Ooh. Get some MP this is back just here. So scary for both players. Yeah, accelerate one, one on. One good move from, from either of them. It's, it's over. Oh my God! Dude, That's it. And the still taking it. Yeah. yeah. That was beautiful yeah. from Paul. Like, I I love the way that Paul was using the fireball not as a kill option, but a way to open up Mia. Yeah, I was just like, was like, a, like, here, this is the distraction, and then actually going in, getting the thing that he needs to get. Yeah, like he threw out the fireball, and that forces Mia to shield or take it. If he takes the hit. Paul walks up, gets another hit off that, and puts Mia off stage. But Paul just, I mean, incredible. He's so smart. He is like one of the smartest players I know. So impressive stuff from Paul. But Mia is no slouch. Yeah, and Smashville is a smaller stage, so this might benefit Mia here. Well, I think it would also benefit him too, especially for like the sides. Like if he gets Paul off stage and just does a few backers, like that was it. Like we saw game one, just how quickly like Paul is gonna die from that. You know? Oh yeah. Like if he just really is all up in there, there's literally nothing that he can do. Like he has to run away. To yeah. Get the thing. And we're seeing that right he now. Already, yeah, he's already doing a good job of oh. getting that, that side pressure. He caught the zoom with the up air perfectly. Oh deep my off gosh, stage. Going deep for that back air. Paul narrowly avoiding the danger zone. That was crazy. Ooh, just unfortunately up being into the up air. I think another huge thing for me on this stage is that like Game of Watch Nair is such a crazy combo tool and you can extend it with the platform here. So it's so like 
Oh my gosh, the CQC is antsy right now. Oh, putting Mia off stage, but 56%. It's gonna take a little bit more to kill Mia here. Oh my gosh. And Mia avoiding every. Oh, the shield oh, break! Oh, no, no. Him off. He, he pushed him off the platform no, and that reset. That literally would have been the first stock. Wow, and that's a huge. So unfortunate because he really, really, really needed that. But at least he has the psych up and the bounce on now, so it'll hopefully help him get in. But that was just very unfortunate. Oh, that almost killed you. You saw that, right? That's insane. <laughs> a grab kills you, though. He has psych up, so. He just needs an up throw from, the, from that little platform. And that's Ooh, F2 was close, but not it. I mean, Mia has done an amazing job of evading all of the kill options right now. And again, the Nair. The bacon? Oh my god. What? It's, uh, oh. And, and the run up, up smash doing it. Yeah, catching the roll there. I mean, Mia's option select has been perfect in this game. It's incredible to watch. He's winning all oh the RPSs gosh. right now. Yeah, he, and again, that really, the, that side being so small, is, I feel like it's really messing up Paul right now. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Paul, but still doable. I mean, oh, good parry for Mia. Frame, flame slash. Hmm. Oh, unfortunate. The bacon is getting in the way. And the follow up with the dash attack. Oh! Ooh. That back air. Unfortunate. Unfortunate three stock for game. Game three. three. Yeah, like Paul took a little bit longer than usual reading the menu, and Mia catches him out with the back mm -hmm. air. Beautifully timed as well. I mean, like you mentioned, just the edge guards. He just has to be really quick with his thinking and what he wants to do. But oh, yeah. I, I don't think we'll see that stage again. No. Either. For this game. Definitely not. But that's a critical thing. Is like those game threes a lot of times determine the sets. Because if we see a game five, it's you're giving Mia back the counter pick. Yeah. So and we all know how Mia gets game five, you know? Oh, clutch. Super like stone cold just player. X just... Factor everything. Oh yeah. But um, we also see Paul game five, so yeah, I mean, Paul could just get some good RNG on that menu, and it's it goes a long way. But The RNG gods can be on his side. Oh, yeah. Man, he has played the matchup so well. Like, I've never actually seen a Game Watch play so perfectly in this matchup. Oh, unfortunate. Again! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, just going in so deep for those backers, but it's really just working for him because Paul doesn't have that many options when he's on. Oh! oh! Answering back right away. What a fast game four here yeah they're just playing so fast i think uh one of the options here is that like mia's playing very aggressive off stage and like taking advantage of forcing paul to like recover quick but i think one thing that paul should do to counteract that is hold your jump and throw out a preemptive forward air because you know mia's going off stage every time yeah throw out a preemptive forward air take up that space and hit mia back and then just jump recover back i think that's a mix that he has to opt for but what just carry him through that second stop just like that, like it, Paul. It really was just like six hits and then Mia was gone. I mean, this is insane right now. Paul is playing out of his mind as well. Oh Both players goodness. are I, so cracked. I think we might see a game five. I'm it, not going to lie to you. but It's looking like it. And I'm excited I to mean, watch you it. You never know because Game & Watch shenanigans, but Paul's just doing a really good job of keeping him away. The thing is that we see Game & Watch shenanigans, but then the hero is also on the screen. It's like... Both oh, oh, the, oh my God, gosh! To catch with the sleeve. Mia reacted to the snooze perfectly. That was insane. I mean, Mia is also playing so well. They're both just... You can see in their gameplay, they're both adapting to each other as they play. Yeah, it's like a back... So oh my gosh, Paul is almost, almost getting it with the fan. I feel like both players are like throwing out options and they're just... Inch, centimeters away oh from hitting each other. crazy. That almost up smash for Mia. And but we got psych up. Yeah, this is scary. Mia has to play very safe now. He has to avoid grabs. Oh! Oh my gosh. Almost getting down smashed. This is crazy right now. Oh, the forward air is not enough. The DI gone. The, oh no! Oh my <laughs> the crouch. He's a down tilt him. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the oh, oh, back! What? The <laughs> what was the that? Back. I mean, and that just plays the fact that, like, no matter what you do, like, you wouldn't expect that. Like, drop down, bang? 
you saw a bat that was? It's humongous. You can see it in the camera. Everybody is here. Everybody and their mothers has come to watch this game five. I think the entire like Florida crowd insane. is cheering for their boy. This is insane. But like I mentioned, like <laughs> he read that menu. <laughs> and then he literally just. He read the menu so fast. So, like I didn't see, I didn't read a single line on that menu. Ever like seen, it was insane. Ever seen the run back too? Oh, looks like Goblin might be cooking too. <laughs> The entire of Florida right now is going crazy. <laughs> oh, the roll in. Nice job from the Beast Football. And Mia opting for small battlefield. Interesting. I think I think Paul banned Smashville actually. Oh, okay. okay that was a good ban from him. Yeah. So if I had to guess, he probably banned um, Smashville and probably Town and Callows. That's what I would assume. Just because of the small like sides and just that pressure yeah. that he was getting. Ooh. Man, Mimo yeah. watch is surprisingly like snappy and quick. It's kinda crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like turning up like or this first off. Doing a Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh it's a Ooh. from Paul. And I love what Paul did there off stage. Instead of opting for the zoom, he played a little bit more aggressively and kept me away. Oh, and unfortunately, air dodging into that back air. Oh, he bucketed the sizzle? He has to be so careful. If anything else gets in that bucket, that could be it. That could be super, super deadly against Paul. I mean, Mia, you are insane. What, what, a, what, a, what a legend. That's crazy. Snooze? I mean, he reads the many now. He knows what that is. You know what's crazy about snooze? It's shield pokes. Really? It literally shield pokes. Oh, oh my god! And it went literally as you just said it. It literally went through the shield. Oh and my god. And now he's on the second stock. I'm so sorry, Mia. Everybody's I jinxed going that. To say the commentator curse has happened. I am so sorry, Mia. If you will rewatch this, I am so sorry. You just spoke it into existence. <laughs> oh. I mean, I've lost enough Paul that oh. I've learned like and all these little quirks, you know? Oh, oh man. Doing a good job to avoid the up air, but still getting up air anyway. Paul, doing a good job not jumping there. Oh, the the oh, 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 again! Oh, again, the crowd! Last stop with the psycho on. Florida Everybody is going, is going insane, insane right now. Oh, but Mia entering right out, back. This moment for both of the players and catching the bucket. He has a, uh, the fully, fully another bucket. I mean, the scary thing is that fully, like, if you have max bucket, it's a very good kill option, but it also limits you from uh, absorbing any more projectiles. So but you now you gotta be careful, be careful here. with playing around Ooh. bounce because now Paul is not gonna allow, allow that to go away. Yeah, you can now use bucket on bounce. That's oh, my god. oh my god, <laughs> what is happening? Some big plays are happening right now, and it's just so unfortunate that they're not connecting for him. I love how Paul aggressively rolls in on me. Oh, 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 the bucket! Oh! And Mia! Winning that game five. Rolled. What? I mean, Literally stole the game five from Paul. Literally just <sighs> yoinked. But I gotta get credit to Mia, man. If you can fight back, remain cool, calm, collected yeah. with this crowd behind you. Oh, yeah. I if mean, you can play with just a level head with all of everything. Just everything going on, like I'm impressed. I'm I mean, very, very respectful. And, and Mia, like, I would a, fold. A, a, yeah, I would fall too. <laughs> but a, a deep sigh there for Mia. You saw him, like the tension was built up. He was nervous. Like yeah. it's clear he was nervous, but like he's been in these positions before. He has the experience, and like what a great way to end that game five. I mean, that was that was the way yeah, you want a set, set to go. That's how it was.